Howdy everybody. Today we're going to be creating this really cool image overlay on wood texture. And we're going to give it this really cool cracked paint look and just make it look like an image that's been painted onto wood. So let's go ahead and jump right in. There are two things you're going to need to complete this project. The first one is an image that you'd like to overlay onto your wood and it's best if it's a flat image and not an actual photograph or anything, but more of a logo or an illustration. The second thing that you're going to need is you're going to need some wood texture. So the first step we're going to take is we are going to copy and paste our image into our wood document, like so. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to take our image and make its layer on overlay just like that. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to repaste our image back into the document. Now we're going to grab this guy and bring him underneath our first layer and we're going to bring down his opacity to about 10% like so. Now let's hop into Google real quick and we're going to do a quick image search for paint cracking textures. So I found this one right here. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So we're going to go ahead and view this image and we're going to copy it and we're going to go ahead and paste it right into Photoshop just like that. Then we want to resize it with the transform tool which is control T or on a Mac it's going to be command T and we want to resize this so that it just barely fits over our dog image. Oops, a little bit too small. All right, looks about good. Now let's rotate it. Hold down shift to make sure that it rotates at 45 and 90 degree angles. And let's put them into place. Right, let's do a little bit more resizing. Perfect. All right, we'll just hit enter to solidify that. Now we're going to select our dog shape by clicking the layer that the dog is on and holding down control. On a Mac, you're going to be holding down command when you do this. Now we want to invert the selection. So we'll go control shift I or command shift I if you're on a Mac. And then we'll delete everything outside of that selection. All right, now the last thing we want to do is we want to come up to our layers and we want to change it to darken, just like that. And we can bring down the opacity just a little bit. I would say about 90 is good. Awesome. You just created your image overlay on wood texture. Now maybe you want to do an image overlay on a wood surface that's three-dimensional. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So we have a crate here and I have another tutorial. You can go ahead and look it up on my YouTube channel on how to create this crate in Photoshop. But anyways, so we're gonna paste our, whoops. We wanna paste our dog image back in there. And then we're gonna resize him so that he'll fit on our crate. Great. And then we are going to use the distort tool. So we'll just right click and go to distort. And that will allow us to grab these points and drag them into whatever position we want. So we want our points to follow the perspective of the box. So we'll put that point right there. And we'll put that point right there. And we want to make sure that these are as vertical as possible, these lines right here. These are the lines that we want at an angle, but these ones we want to be going straight up and down with the box lines. All right, cool. We'll hit enter. And then we're going to put this layer on overlay. 
And then this board coming across the crate right here would kind of be pushing out more than the boards behind it. And so the image would not necessarily lay completely flat over across that. So to give the illusion of three dimension, we're going to use our lasso tool, our polygonal lasso tool to be exact. And we're going to trace out the shape of this board. Cool. Now we're gonna use the move tool. So we'll just hit V and then we are going to move it over twice and down once. We'll unselect out of that. And now we've just barely nudged this image over just so that it looks like the board that it's going up and over the board. All right, you just overlaid an image on two different wood textures. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. If it did, go ahead and subscribe down below and I'll be sending you more videos. Thanks.